Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to create a Pareto chart in Excel. Let me first show you what a Pareto chart is. Here I have the hotel complaint data, I have the complaint type such as delay in registration, room cleaning, food quality and on and I have the number of complaints. Now a Pareto chart is a chart which you can use to identify those complaint types that would constitute the maximum number of complaints. So for example in this case we can see that these two complaints delay in registration and room cleaning would constitute maximum percentage of these complaints. So a visual representation of it would be a Pareto chart where I have these complaint types in uh, the x-axis and I have the bars that represent the number of complaints and I have a line that represents the cumulative percentage of these complaints. So if I right click on this and add the data labels you would see that the first complaint is is about 35.2 percent of the total complaints and if I combine the first two complaints it would constitute 63 percent of the total complaints. The way you can use a Pareto chart is that this chart would tell you that if you focus on these first three complaints which is delay in registration, room cleaning and food quality, you would take care of almost 77% of the total complaints. So this is an area where you can uh, identify issues and if you have to rectify issues then these are the areas where you should focus on. So this is a simple Pareto chart and I'll show you how to create this in Excel. I have the data here, the same data and the number of complaints and to create a Pareto chart I first need to calculate the cumulative percentage of these complaints. So what I'll do is I would use a simple formula and I would say sum of B2 colon B2 and I would lock the first B2 so that when I go down it will become B2 is to B3 so it will cover these two and it will give me the sum of these two and similarly when I go down further it will give me the sum of these three and I would divide this by the sum of all these complaints and I would hit F4 to lock the range. Now when I hit enter this gives me 35.2 which is the percentage for this when divided by all the number of complaints and when I double click on this it gives me these numbers. The cumulative percentage the final number would be 100 and this varies in such a fashion. Now to create a Pareto chart from this data I would simply select this data I would go to insert chart and here I would select 2D column chart clustered column chart and I would click on it it inserts this chart. Now as of now it has inserted the number of complaints and the cumulative percentage both as bars but I want this cumulative percentage as a line chart. So to do that I would click on any of the bars right click and select change series chart type. In the change series chart type dialog box I have these two series here. I would keep the number of complaints as bar charts but cumulative percentage I would change this into a line chart. And I would also put this in a secondary axis because here you can see that the number of complaints, the unit is uh, 43, 34, 17, but here the unit is in percentage which varies from 0 to 100 percent. So I would have to put it in a secondary axis. So I can do that by simply click and clicking on this option. If you're using 2010, the options would remain the same. It is just the way these dialog box open up. That would be different. But uh, everything that I'm doing here would also be available in 2010 or 2007 versions. So now I have the Pareto chart ready and you can see I can simply adjust these labels so I can press control 1 and I would simply adjust this by making it 1 because this should vary from 0 to 100 percent and the major unit as 0.2 and I would also change the number here because it is 100.0 percent but that additional 0 is not useful so I would simply make it 0 percent so that it is formatted and in a similar way I can change the major unit here to 10 so that it looks a bit better. So this is how you can create a simple Pareto chart. Now someone may argue that if you simply sort this data from largest to smallest you really do not need this Pareto chart. So to take it a step further let me show you how we can create a dynamic Pareto chart. So here I have a similar chart but what we have done here is if you are giving a presentation or if you have a target in mind you can simply select that target. So here you can see that the target is mentioned here and there is a scroll bar and you can use this scroll bar to change the target and as you move the scroll bar you would see that the target value changes. Now 
as of now the target is 30 percent and which means that if I have to rectify 30 percent of my complaints I should only focus on delay and registration and that would take care of 30 or more than 30 percent of the complaints but here if I change this target and I make it 40 percent then it says I will have to take care of both of these issues which is delay and registration and room cleaning similarly if I move forward and I say I want to be very efficient and I want to uh, target 75 percent of the complaints then if if I focus on these three areas then 75 percent of my complaints would be taken care of so this is a good dynamic dashboard kind of a chart where you can show this in a meeting and you can just uh, play with it to tell them that if the target is varied then what are the kinds of complaints that we need to tackle now to create this let me show you how to make this from scratch I have uh, all the data here and I have the template here fixed uh, so this is the same data and I have these three additional columns that I would fill and I have these three cells here the first thing let me do is again calculate the cumulative so I would simply use the same formula sum b2 colon b2 I would lock the first cell here and I would divide it by the sum of all these complaint numbers and I would hit F4 to lock it and now when I double click here you see it gives me the same data now let us also insert the scroll bar first because the scroll bar link value and target value would be guided by the scroll bar so to do that I would go to the developer tab and here I have the insert option if you do not have the developer tab displayed in the ribbon you can simply right click on any of the tabs go to customize the ribbon and in the Excel options dialog box here you would see that there would be a developer option it would be unchecked you can simply check it and then you would have the developer bar displayed developer tab displayed in the ribbon now in the developer tab I would go to the insert option and here I would insert a form control scroll bar so I would click on it and I would click anywhere on this sheet and it would insert the scroll bar you can simply resize the scroll bar to make it vertical uh, sorry horizontal and now I would have to assign a value to the scroll bar from where the starting value and the maximum value so to do that I would right click and I would go to the format control option it opens the format control dialog box here the current value is 0 the minimum value is 0 which is fine and the maximum value is 100 now since my cumulative data varies between 0 to 100 these values suit me I would change the incremental value to 5 because I don't want uh, the people to be changing this scroll bar uh, by 1% so I would make it 5% and the pay change is 10% pay change means that whenever you click anywhere except at the tips it would change the value by 10 and I would link the cell to this uh, cell which is B14 now when I click OK and I move this scroll bar you can see that the value is displayed here the reason I, I'm using this additional cell here is because I cannot specify a value which is in decimal or in percentage I can only specify a value which is in integer to this uh, scroll bar so now I would use this value and I would say my target value would be this value divided by 100 so now it becomes 10 percent and what ideally it's doing is it is varying the target value from 0 percent to 100 percent now I would have to identify that if I specify say 10% uh, then what value from here should be my cumulative value because if I say 10% I want to target 10% of the issues then I should focus on delay and registration but if, but if I want to focus on say 50% uh, of the issues then I would have to focus on delay and registration as well as room cleaning because delay and registration would only take care of 35% of the issues so in this case I would want this this uh, cell to return 63.1 because in this case I would have to focus on two issues similarly if I go forward and I say I want to tackle 70% of the issues then I would have to focus on these three which means this cell should return 77% so to do that let me use match function first and I'll show you how I construct the entire formula the lookup value here would be this value which is B12 I would lock this value and my lookup array would be this entire array again I would lock this and instead of getting an exact match I would use a less than match which would mean that if my data is arranged in an ascending order this would give me the value which is 
just smaller than the lookup value. So in this case, if I'm looking for 70, it would check here. 70 is bigger than 30, uh, 35. It will go forward. It is bigger than 63. So it would come here, but it is less than 77. So it would return 63.1. So I would use 1 and as soon as I hit enter, it gives me 2. Uh, let me change the formatting to make it number without any decimal. It gives me 2, which means the position, it returns the position of this in this array, second position. But I do not want to. I want 3 here because I want this to return 77. So I would simply add 1 to it. So now this is giving me 3 here. I would now simply use this in an index formula and I would say my array is this oops let me resize it I would say let me come here my array is this entire thing I would click F4 to uh, lock it and my match value that was returning 3 here would be the row number now when I hit enter and I change this to the percentage format now just to show you now it gives me 77% which is the right thing. If I change the target here and you see it will change, I change the target to 80%, it gives me 84.4 which is fine. The only issue with this is that if I go to the lower side, it gives me an NA error if because when I make it say 30%, it cannot find 30% in this. So I would have to tackle it by using an if error. Uh, Oops, I would have to use the if error in the match because it's the match part which is giving me an error. If I select this entire thing and hit F9, you can see this returns an error because it cannot find 30 in this. So to tackle this, I would simply come here and I would say if error. In if there is an if there is no error, give me the match value. But if there is an error, then give me zero. And now my formula is foolproof you can see that if I go down it will give me 35.2 which means if I need to target 5% of the complaints I still need to take care of delay and registrations and now I can simply keep on scrolling it and it would give me the right result now let me make it 50 here just to show you now I would have to create two series one is the series that would be highlighted which means that if it's 63.1 then I would need to highlight these two series the series that constitutes these two numbers and the remaining series should be in a regular uh, regular color it could be gray or anything so to do that I would simply use an if formula and I would say if my cumulative value here is more than or equal to this value then give me the number of complaints else give me any and let me lock b3 here and now when i hit enter it gives me 43 and if i double click here it gives me 43 34 because these two complaints need to be tackled to uh, meet the target of 50 percent and rest could be ignored and here i would simply reverse the formula and i would say if this value here is less than or equal to this value then give me this number else give me NA and I would again lock this and now when I double click you can see oops okay not equal to only less than and now when I double click here you can see that it gives me NA but here it gives me all these values and you can again keep on changing this and you can identify here that if I make the target as 65 percent these three are the areas that need to be tackled so highlighted bars they have these values and all the values are here now I'm all set to create the chart so I would so I would select complain and these three areas and I would go to insert chart 2d column chart and this gives me this chart which has three series uh, one for cumulative percentage highlight bars and remaining bars now I want cumulative percentage as a line so again I would select this right click and go to change series chart type and here I would change this to a line chart and I would make it in the secondary axis now when I hit OK you can see that I have these the cumulative percentage as a line and the bars where three are highlighted because the percent target here is 65 percent and you can check this now manually if you change this target to say 
30%, then only the first part is highlighted because it will take care of uh, the 30% of the complaints. But if you uh, increase this value, you can see that this has now become dynamic. The only issue is that you can see that as you change it, this bar shifts a bit. The reason is because there are two series here. So I would again right click, go to format, data series, and I would make the series overlap 100%. now you can see that this is perfectly aligned and and it changes smoothly now you can simply make a couple of formatting changes so here i would uh, make this as 100% or 1 and this as 20% or 0.2 i would right click here and i would make it 10 you can also change the color so here in this case i can simply uh, fill this with red and the gray is fine here you can change the line color as well so you can simply right click and change the outline to say an orange line or whatever you want it to be and your chart is now ready the thing is that if you hide this data here so for example if I hide this data and I only want to show this chart see what happens the chart nothing is displayed the reason here is let me control Z the reason here is that when you hide this data, the data is not displayed in the chart. So to make it, uh, to display it in the chart while the data is still hidden, uh, go to the design mode. Here you have select data option. Here you have the hidden and empty cells button. Click on it and you will have the show data in hidden rows and columns option. Check it. Click OK. And now even if you hide it, you would see that the data is still there in the chart. Now the final thing is to display the target value here so you can simply do that by using a simple formula which is target space double quote ampersand this value. The only issue here is that it will show you the target in such a format so to change this we'll use the text formula and we would say the value should be B13 but the format should be 0.0% and now it will give you the target as 35.2 you can simply change the formatting a bit to to make it uh, bigger and highlight it more and you can simply align it to the center and if you want you can uh, give it a different border color or anything like this for example or let's do it from the format cells dialog box you can get this dialog box when you press control 1 here go to the border tab you can select any of the color I would select this color and you have the option to select any of these options so I would select this option and I can use this border color so now you can see that the target is, is displayed I don't think it looks very good but again you have the option to play around with it and, and change the formatting and you can italicize it and now when you change this scroll bar you can see that the target here changes as well just a minor thing instead of uh, linking it to B 13 you should link it to B12 because that is where the target is so now when you change this you can see that your target is changing and as your target changes you would have the bars highlighted which are the areas that you should focus on to have this target achieved if you want to target 45% or say 50% of the total complaints then you should focus on these two areas so this is a dynamic Pareto chart you can hide this data conveniently and only have the chart displayed because now this is uh, very dynamic you can have interactivity in this chart uh, the user can change the target and then it can display the areas that need to be focused upon so this is how you can create a dynamic Pareto chart in Excel I hope you found this video useful thank you and have a nice day if you have enjoyed this video please subscribe to this channel by clicking here you can also follow Trump Excel on Twitter and Facebook